This presentation will give you an introduction to the Absence Reporting Service with Honeydew Health. This service went live across Ealing, Hammersmith and West London College on the 1st of September. Prior to that, it had been trialled across a number of departments since March with very positive feedback. Core to the service is a 24-7 absence reporting line with a dedicated phone number. To com communicate this to all staff, credit card sized wallet cards will be distributed to everyone with the new number on them. On the back of the cards, employees can read reminders about when to call the absence line. All new absences should be reported as soon as possible and latest half an hour before your usual start time. Employees should then update their absence record regularly and notify us whenever a sick or fit note has been issued. During longer term absences, we recommend that employees update their absence record once per week. The final point here sometimes takes a little while for employees to get used to, namely that you also need to call to close your absence record. In other words, employees also need to call back to confirm that they are returning to work because otherwise their absence record will remain open. We remind the callers of this when they call up. Also, I'd like to point out that booked medical or dental appointments should not be reported via this service. They should be arranged between staff members and management as before by using TOIL or by making up the hours afterwards. To support the card, a more comprehensive employee guide and FAQ document has also been distributed to everyone. From a manager's perspective, the biggest change here is that employees will no longer call their line manager directly. Absence is reported via the 24-7 absence line and our system sends out instant email notifications to the nominated line managers as soon as a call has been logged. You can also opt in for SMS notifications. You should bear in mind that this service is open 20 24 hours per day, so if you do opt in for text messages, they will be delivered at whatever hour your team members choose to call us. This could be in the middle of the night, so you might need to remember to put your phone on silent. If you would like to f receive SMS messages, please let your HR team know what mobile number to use and they will update your details to activate this. You can request to send the absence notifications to additional managers or administrators in your department as well if that would be useful in order to arrange cover or to make sure someone on campus knows when a team member is not going to be coming in. In addition to the instant notifications for new and updated absence you'll also receive policy trigger alerts and task reminders and following every absence a return to work interview should be carried out and the notes from the meeting recorded online in our Engage portal. I'll show you how this works in just a few minutes. The benefits of this new day one absence reporting system to managers is that you will have a full visibility of all staff absence records from first day of their absence and the automated triggers and reminders will help you make sure all absence management tasks are carried out. Here's an example of what the absence notifications look like. The first line shows you the reason for the alert. This could be a new absence, update absence or return to work confirmed. Further down you can see the contact telephone number. Every time an employee calls we ask them to confirm their current contact telephone number. This is so that you as the manager can, where necessary, contact the employee yourself. Just because the initial absence registration call is taken by us doesn't mean that you shouldn't maintain personal contact with absent employees. On the contrary, Positive contact between manager and employee is recommended during absence and it can aid the employee to return to work sooner. We'll also ask all Ealing Hammersmith West London College employees whether, they are, whether there are any work-related tasks, meetings or classes that their manager should be aware of. The answer to that question will be shown on this email alert. If you need to ask further questions about rescheduling their workload, it's perfectly acceptable to contact the employee to discuss this at a time that suits you. Engage will automatically pick up when an employee trips one of your absence policy trigger points of three or more spells in six months, ten or more days of absence in twelve months, or an absence due to stress-related reason. These triggers will prompt an absence review meeting. The meeting task is completed online and it is twofold. The first part is to schedule a meeting date and to send out a letter to invite the employee to the meeting. And the second part is to record the meeting outcomes in the online form. Apart from review meetings, 
Engage will also highlight various other types of absence. Firstly, if an accident at work has been reported, you'll be reminded to complete an accident incident form. If an accident outside work is re reported, you'll be prompted to find out if the accident was a sports injury, as there are further implications if that is the case, in accordance with your absence policy. After someone's been absent for four weeks, they're considered a long-term absentee, and a referral to occupational health may be needed. You'll be prompted to consider referral at this point. If an employee forgets to update their absence record regularly, we'll ask you to contact them. And if someone has taken the same day off of the week off several times in three months, our automated triggers will highlight this to the manager as well. We'll also prompt regular outbound welfare calls after an employee has been absent for three weeks. This is not to say that you shouldn't make contact with an employee sooner, but simply these tasks are to ensure that regular contact is maintained at the, and that there are records of the welfare calls on the employee's absence record. All the policy triggers and tasks are collated daily into one digest email called Outstanding Tasks and Trigger Reminder. You can see an example here. All the outstanding tasks are listed at the top with the new trip triggers listed below. Finally, some key messages to pass on to your team. The communication about the new reporting service is being done via the wallet cards and employee guide. But ultimately, we rely on line managers to cascade out this information. The number one message is that there will be no exceptions. Everyone needs to use this new absence line to report their absence, and it's the only way to do so. If anyone calls you directly without calling the absence line, you should remind them that they also need to call Honeydew. You can expect your notification within five minutes because our call centre, which is in South End in Essex, not in India, um, has an average wait time of 13 seconds or between three and four rings and it takes between one and three minutes to report an absence. Your instant notification will come through as soon as our data administrators press save. If employees ask about the cost of calling the 03 number, you can explain that this number is charged at the same rate as calling a local 01 or 02 number. If you are calling from a mobile and have a contract with 3 minutes to 01 or 02 numbers, the calls to 03 numbers will also be included in the same bundle. We record all calls and wait times for training and quality monitoring purposes, so if anyone reports back to you that they waited too long to get through, please let us know so that we can investigate. We do investigate all complaints, so if any employee says that they tried to call but there was no answer or anything else to do with the call service, please let us know as it is um, it's really important that we can address these issues as soon as possible. That's the end of the introduction and next I'll show you around the online tools.